four dollars big in my head all right guys i got my work cut out for me today i'm fixing a bunch of bad welds down at my demo customers and that brings me to this place i've never been here before mine and mill all right let's pull up in here get our pipe we're back at my demo customer's yard and there, we have a few things to address today. There is a ton of cracks in this game. We also need to replace these pipes because as you can see right there, we got a crack forming right there. So the most pressing thing we have to do today is fix this man's low boy. So I don't know who left them like this, but goddamn, it's a bad one. So we need to fix that immediately because this man uses his low boy every single day. guys now that we have our crack all ground out i'm gonna go ahead and run a 60 10 downhill route and people are like oh why would you do that you know you're kind of treating it like it's a piece of pipe or something not really structural okay the reason i'm doing that is because one i have an inconsistent bevel because i use the grinder to push this out and for two i don't know what's behind that crack and 60 10 will eat up rust it will eat up paint it will eat up anything that could be behind that crack so that's why I'm gonna run a 6010 route. And I'm gonna run it downhill because I'm gonna have more arc control and you could do that with a fast freeze rod like 6010. Probably gonna need you three or four passes and I will of course do all of those with 7018. So I've got it all welded up. It's looking pretty good. Still a little bit of slag for me to remove. Um, I'll give you guys an up close here in a little bit. I got to paint it still. And then this trailer is done. It's lunchtime. So I unhooked all my leads. We're going to head up and uh, go to my favorite burrito stand around here. Here is the, probably the best burritos in this area. I stop here every time I'm in town because they make such good burritos. You get all of this for $4 at this place. So if you guys are in town, Tequera El Burrito. This, this place is always slammed to it, but they're quick. They're real quick. Look at that burrito. Look at that. $4, it's big in my head.
this is a 2021 skid steer. I've never used any of this new, and apparently the new ones have hydraulic quick connects. Let's take a look and see how this works. So the guy told me tack up. It's pretty fucking neat. That's pretty fucking sweet. So I've got the forks on. Let's try it. Let's hit tack down. Looks like I lined everything up correctly. Looks good. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. All right, clearly that's way too high. But what I'm going to do now is get some wood underneath of it. So I'm going to do another trick now that I've gotten all the cracks welded out to get this pipe aligned. I noticed that it is exactly flush with the top of this. So what I'm going to do is just weld this piece down and then clamp the pipe to it. And I got it clamped right in the center. If I have a clamp, if not, I'll just pull it with my hand and then tack it real quick. This part of the ramp needed to be preheated because it's thicker than the rest of the ramp. Guys, I think that's the most 7018 I've burned in a while. But uh, as you can see, we got some really nice welds. Towards the end there, I bumped everything up to 140 amps and it worked out well. So all I gotta do is slide the pin back in and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip the gate up and I'm gonna weld the bottom of the hinge and then that should be it for today. There are more cracks on the bottom of this gate that I need to address. But we're gonna save that for another day because it's five o'clock already and I didn't expect to be working on that uh, low boy today. That's how it goes. You gotta address your customer's most pressing needs. Mm -hmm.
end of the video. Everything's done. Well, at least the portion I needed to complete today. This gate's pretty much welded out. It needs some work up underneath of it. But you can see, put some pretty good welds on this one. I'm pretty happy with that. Customer was happy, so that's good. So all that's left is for me to submit an invoice and then get the fuck out of here and of course clean my shit up. All right, guys, if you like what you saw here today, like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine for your boy, all right? I'm out here busting my ass and doing it on camera for you. Keep dragging the rod, keep pushing me, keep doing what you do, and I'll catch you on the next video.